What's up everyone? Today I got an awesome video for all of you. This is the electric XP trike and this thing is bringing back some memories of when I was about 13 years old. I actually had a trike and I had a rack on the back just like this. I put a stereo system in the back with a Walkman and two battery powered speakers. I'd throw my newspapers in it and go deliver newspapers around town. I used to use a regular bicycle and when I was delivering my papers this guy had a green one in his garage that I would see every time I delivered his newspaper and about a, three months of me saving up I was able to make $75 and was able to buy that trike off of him. Now it wasn't electric but man I loved that thing and had so much fun on that thing delivering newspapers up until the time my brother ran it over with his dump truck and destroyed the back rim and then I had to throw it away. But this thing is bringing back so many memories of me having that when I was a child and it's just awesome that they could produce a trike like this and get it out on the market for as reasonable of a price as they did at currently $1,500. Now, hands down, this is the cheapest trike on the market, especially when you get hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors, rear wheel drive, 500 watt motor that peaks at 1,096 watts, and for $1,500, to have a 48 volt 14 amp hour battery with it that's just hands down it's gonna crush the market at that price I believe because any other trike on the market that's electric the minimum price is $2,500 for another brand that's a little bit similar to this well I mean it's really not similar in almost any way but that's the next cheapest trike on the market and it doesn't even have hydraulic brakes so this is going to be a game changer and they're going to probably do really good on this trike in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get into all the specs and details of this thing, see how it performs, see what kind of speed it has, see how much power it has, and see if this trike's right for you. If you've been looking for one or are in the market for picking one up, I will leave a link down in the description. If you use that link, it will help support this channel and I will make a small commission at no extra cost to you but I do wanna thank you in advance for using that link and it is what helps support this channel and helps me creating these videos for all of you. So let's get into the testing, everyone. All right, now I have to give it up to electric for this one. When you have the baskets on the trike, the cargo package and the big seat, it does not get in the way of each other when it folds as long as you have the seat up high enough. Now you can always take that seat out to make it smaller and just throw the seat in the basket or whatnot. But that is awesome that the front rack and the front basket does not get in the way of the rear basket when it folds. That's amazing. A plus electric, gotta give it to you on that one. That's a good design right there. Now the first thing I know everyone is gonna wanna know, including me, is how this thing folds. Really, really unique. You have to unlock the lever there I would lock the back brake lever, that would make it easier so when you're pushing this front back, it doesn't roll. Turn this in here, turn this wheel in between the back wheel and the frame, and there it is folded. Now, one thing I did notice, uh, the handlebars fold down too, I'll show you that in a second here, but one thing I noticed, the center stand here is really short, and it does sit on that center stand on the corner of it, but the back wheel does come off the ground about six to eight inches. You could put something under there to keep it set and level. I think if they would have made this bracket come down all the way to hit the ground to make it set level, it would have been too low and would have been hitting things. So one thing to keep in mind, it is gonna sit like this when you have it folded and the handlebars fold down as well, but really nice and compact for a trike. This is amazing for a trike to fold like this. The first trike that I know of that folds, the only one that I know of that folds, most of them just the handlebars fold down. It's gonna be a little bit hard to pick up. Now, if it didn't have the steel rack on the back and didn't have the battery in it, it will weigh, I think they said somewhere around 60 some pounds. So that's not too bad, but it's still kind of big. So it is gonna probably need two people to pick it up or you're gonna have to wheel it up on a set of two ramps if the back wheels were unlocked. You could roll it easily forward. Now when you roll it backwards, it is gonna turn the pedal, so you're really not gonna be able to roll it backwards, but you can roll it forwards all day long. But you can see here when you roll it back, the pedals do come up. 
So keep that in mind. Now, even though I said you can't push the bike backwards when it's like this because the pedals will turn, if you angle it down a little bit and just get one wheel off the ground, then you can wheel it backwards all day long on one wheel and those pedals will not move. The only time the pedals will move backwards is if both wheels are on the ground. So you can roll it backwards. You just have to have one wheel up off the ground when you do it. But really awesome that it folds like that. And then just the opposite to unfold it. This is how most trikes fold right there with just the handlebars folding down. Now you could do that as well, but it is nice that they give you the option to fold it there too. The only thing I think would have made that thing sit down all the way on that center stand is if they would have put a quick release on the front wheel and you would have been able to take the front wheel off, then fold it, then it probably would have sat flush on here. I mean, you could always unscrew the bolts and take the front wheel off if you want, but maybe would have been nice to see a quick release there. All right, so now let's take a look and see what you get on this electric XP trike. So up here on the handlebars, you have the same rubber grips as some of their other models like the electric 3.0 and the electric expedition. Next to that, you have your control pad for turning your bike on, controlling your pedal assist levels and setting your cruise control. And that is done by holding down the down button when you have the throttle engaged. Right here in the center, you have the same huge display that shows you your speed, your trip, voltage, current, time, and odometer. Over here on the left-hand side, you have a half grip twist throttle, and there is no gear shifter because it is a single speed. And then what's really awesome is you have a set of front and rear hydraulic disc brakes. They're branded five star on the top here, and they have parking brakes on each of these brake levers, which is really nice. You just pull the brake lever in, set that parking brake, and then your trike will not roll forward or backwards while that is set. So really awesome to see it on both brakes. Now, one thing I wanna mention is that this bike does have the front and rear baskets along with the front rack. Now that is normally an additional purchase, but during their pre-sale, they are including that, which is an awesome deal. And this one that I got actually has the suspension seat post and the premium seat which is also an upgrade. You don't normally get this with the package. I believe their package is normally like 129 for the seat post and the seat. And I'll also put down in the description my favorite choice for suspension seat posts and seats. But different seats are gonna fit different people. So uh, the one that I like may not be the one that's right for you but I'll leave that information down below to the one that I prefer. And for those of you that do wanna get a different suspension seat post, the seat post size is 31.8 millimeters. For safety on this bike, it does include the premium headlight and then the brake levers engage brake lights on the back on each fender whenever you pull the brake levers. Now there is a light in the center here. However, it does not light up when you pull the brake lever. However, if you turn the lights on, that center one does light up and then when you pull the brake lever it does seem to get brighter it just does not turn on whenever the lights are not on so really nice for safety there always like to see brake lights included now the front fork on this bike is going to be a steel fork and the whole frame is aluminum on this bike until you get back to this part that bolts on to the frame of the trike everything from here back is steel so this is steel the rear axles are steel but everything like this all the way up to the front except for the front fork is aluminum the fenders are also steel fenders as well so i'm assuming that they kept this part still back here for strength and kept everything else aluminum to make it lighter weight and this does come in weighing without the battery about 63 pounds and with the battery right under 70 pounds and that's without the rear rack and without the front rack now you could take the seat post out as well and get it down a little bit lighter but if you have the front and rear racks on or the baskets, that's gonna add some weight to it as well. So the lightest possible that you're gonna get this trike is right around 63 pounds if you didn't have any of the racks on and you were to remove the battery. And speaking of the battery, it goes behind the seat tube here. It is a 14 amp hour, 48 volt battery, which is really nice. One thing about these batteries is if you don't use them for a while, they will go in sleep mode. You just have to press the button one time here before you could turn the trike on. There is no battery inside the frame here. They do give you water bottle holder mounts here to mount a bottle holder or a lock or different accessories. And also back here 
on the seat tube, which is really nice to see. This trike is sitting on a pair of 20 by 2.6 inch tires, and they do have reflective stripes around the tires, which is really nice to see for safety. Always like to see that. And the mounting holes for the rear basket are right here, but they also include four more mounting screws here. I don't know if they're gonna have additional accessories that you'd be able to mount back here, but eight different holes in the frame itself for being able to mount something there. Now this is what's super unique about this trike and it is that the rear motor is in the center of the rear of the bike which leads to a chain that goes to a differential and each one of these wheels can spin independently at different speeds or stop spinning if one of them gets off the ground which is really nice and safe. You have a tensioner here to tension your chain up on this single speed system here. So you're not gonna have any gears to shift through or have to worry about adjusting any derailers or anything like that, but you may run out of pedal if you're trying to pedal at higher speeds. There's a nice hole here on the frame, which I believe is to mount possibly their little wagon that they make that goes on the back. I don't really have one of those to test out, but I'm assuming that that's what that hole there is for. It looks like a little tow hitch or something, which is kind of cool. I mean, really, you probably could use it to well, I, maybe I shouldn't tell you guys that, but you probably could use it to tow one of your other bikes if you run out of power. And there's also a tensioner on the opposite side to adjust the chain going from your motor to your back axle as well. Up here on the front, you do have a set of mounts for installing that front rack. I also like the semi BMX style handlebars here up on top. It gives you a little bit of room here for different accessories, which is really nice and gives you good adjustability frontwards or backwards if you need to here. There's also a little bit of adjustment up and down on these handlebars here. Not too much, maybe about two and a half to three inches or so. And there is adjustability on the seat. Now the minimum seat height on the suspension seat post with this premium seat is about 31 and a half inches. It would definitely be a lot lower if you had the non-suspension post in here. And the step over height is really low at 14 inches to the top of this chain guard. It's a right around a thir little over 13, almost 13 and a half to right here. So really low step over height. And for those of you that need to know the width between the outside of the back wheels, it is 30 inches. So if you have a 32 inch door, it will fit through it. Overall though, guys, really nice looking bike or trike. Dang it, it keeps saying bike. I'm so used to saying bike. It's a trike, three wheels. Three wheels is a trike, two is a bike. But anyway, really nice looking trike here it only comes in one color this metallic looking gray which is really awesome in my opinion really super sleek looking really like the design and style of it and i think they really hit this one out of the park with this design so now let's go see how it performs all right so we're going to try the hill that i always go up in my the beginning of all my videos but this battery is down to 47.4 volts which is below half so we're going to see if we can make it up this hill with just throttle and what kind of amperage right now it's pushing out 18 amps of current just throttle so far so good seven miles an hour six looks like it's going to hold six miles an hour guys so that's with the battery being under half and it pulled me up this hill perfectly really nice really good power from this electric trike He's gonna try the hill on the Kent. <laughs> Almost. All right, here we go. On the electric XP trike, up the first hill I go up in all my tests, we're gonna see what kind of speed we can maintain with throttle only, and this is a fully charged battery, fresh off the charger. So let's see how it does. Let's see what kind of power. It's showing 19, amps of current for the output eight miles an hour seven drop the five there real quick on the gps but i think that was just a fluke it's still at seven miles an hour so never drop below seven miles an hour coming up that hill with just throttle so pretty good power out of this 500 watt motor for sure it's supposed to peak at 1098 watts i believe they said on their website and it's showing 19 amps of current out of that 20 amp controller. And right now, 
I'm at full speed throttle only at 13 miles an hour. Every once in a while I do see it hit 14, but it's looking like it's a little bit shy of 14 for the max speed and this is turned up to the max. That's in your uh, P22 setting. When you get it, it comes in a uh, basically like a safe mode to where it only outputs uh, nine amps of current in pedal assist five and it only goes i believe five miles an hour in pedal assist one and two so really good to get used to the trike for safety so you don't get hurt because you do have to get a little bit used to riding these things it's completely different than an electric bicycle mostly on turns you just kind of got to watch the turns but you can see here if you take it easy i'm one-handed here no problem on these turns i mean i'm used to riding trikes i've had one when i was a kid like i said before now if you hit this turn going 14 miles an hour you could get definitely get it up on two wheels so you don't want to do that and i believe that's why they kept this thing tuned down to a max speed of 14 miles an hour i feel like it's gonna pertain to more older riders or people that are going to purchase this trike anyway because most people that are going to purchase this i feel maybe have balance issues um, they're not going to be purchasing this to go super fast to begin with and i think they wanted to keep it safe and that's why it's set for a max speed of 14 miles an hour but let's get into it and see how this bike performs up some different hills brakes are really good so far these are the back brakes 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes you can see no it's not even squilling at all going down this hill and i'm at 20 miles an hour so you can see for an experienced rider 20 miles an hour wouldn't be nothing on this trike so i me personally i wish it would have went a little bit faster but i could see why they kept it down to 14 miles an hour would have been nice to go at least 20 though in my opinion all right, so now we're in pedal assist one. We're gonna see what kind of speed it has. You can see it takes off super, super slow in pedal assist one, which is gonna be really nice and safe. Now, like I said, I do have this turned up to the max settings, and this is what you will get in pedal assist one in max settings. It's going eight miles an hour, nine. I think it's gonna still continue to pick up speed as long as there's really no load on it if you're not going up a hill. Um, let's see here, pedaling maintains right around a nice eight miles an hour and you're gonna want to watch potholes <laughs> let's bump it up to two you can see it picks up here and I feel like I'm already running out of pedal on pedal assist two. like I said this is a single speed there is no gears so this isn't really gonna be a trike meant for pedaling at higher speeds it is going to be geared okay for going up some hills and helping you give it some decent input up hills. You can see this thing definitely goes pretty good downhill, so that's why I wish it would have went at least 20 for experienced riders. At least, you know, if they would have gave you that option, but let's see. I'm in pedal assist 2, and what I want to note here is that the way this is programmed is the lower the pedal assist level you're in, the lower the current you're gonna get out of the controller. So right now the max current in pedal assist two is four amps. Pedal assist one is only one amp of current. So you get a massive amount of distance if you were to stay in pedal assist one and just pedal. Like I said, two is four, three is eight, four is about 13 and five will get you up to that 19. Now, if you don't unlock it in your P22 setting from, I believe it's zero to one, uh, if you don't unlock that, the max current you're gonna get out of this trike is nine amps of current. And you're gonna feel like this thing is really underpowered if you hit a hill. So when you get this thing out of the box, if you feel like it's underpowered, go into your P22 setting. I'll show you how to do that real quick. You just hold your plus and minus button down. P22, you want that set to zero, zero, 001. So just hit the mode button until you get up to P22. And zero, zero, 001. It comes factory set at zero, zero, 000. You want it on zero, zero, 001. And then just 
let it go and it'll go back to the home screen. Now don't turn up that setting until you ride the bike first and get used to it, get a feel for it around turns and things like that. Don't unlock that until you get experienced with the bike. I don't want you guys getting hurt. And funny story, my wife tried to ride this and she was able to ride it no problem, but she's so used to putting her feet down when she's riding a bicycle, she kept putting her feet down and kept running over the back of her legs. So don't do that either, guys. Don't tell her I told you that. <laughs> so testing out these brakes down this long hill. They seem to be pretty good so far. We're gonna see how they do at the bottom. 25 miles an hour. Oh yeah, they, they work pretty good. Not even really squilling, which I was impressed. Now you guys are gonna wanna wipe down your rotors really good with a brake cleaner when you assemble your bike. Well, actually you don't even really need to assemble the bike. This bike comes fully assembled, this trike. Pretty much just have to open it up and go over everything. Maybe adjust your brakes a little bit. Oh yeah, no problem. I could even lock them up if I wanted but make sure you wipe the rotors off really good with a brake cleaner. There was a lot of grease on the back rotor. I had to wipe it off a few times and uh, just something you wanna do beforehand. That way you don't get grease bed into your brake pads. So I'm throttle only right now, 13.6 miles an hour. So like I said, it is a little shy of 14. I'd say around 10 miles an hour feels pretty comfortable pedaling. So about 10 miles an hour about is about where it seems really nice to pedal. Anything over that, you're gonna feel like you're ghost pedaling or just pedaling a little too fast. Let's see how these bumps do with this seat post. Not too bad. Let me show you here. This is 12 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, 11. So somewhere around 10. Right here, I feel like I'm running out of pedal at 13. So this is gonna be a nice trike for somebody wanting to ride slow or just throttling around. Anything over like 10 miles an hour, you're probably gonna, not gonna wanna put effort into the pedals. So keep that in mind. Right now, I'm just in pedal assist two, cruising at eight miles an hour here. Just a nice, nice cruise. It's just a nice cruising trike for slow speeds and that's, if you're gonna buy this thing, that's probably the type of person that is gonna buy this, in my opinion. Somebody that has maybe balance issues or somebody that just wants to get out and, and get around. And I do have the bigger seat coming. They are gonna send me the bigger seat to test out. And I think that's gonna be really nice too on this, this trike as well. So kind of excited to get that and try it out. Cause I never really was a huge fan of their um, suspension seats here the springs on them do seem a little bit cheap and, and creak a good bit. My wife had one come off before on the bottom of her seat on the bike trail. I was able to screw it back in and I actually lost the bolt on this one earlier. So like I said, make sure you guys check the tightness on the bolts under there if you do get the seat with your trike. And this trike does have cruise control just like all their other bikes. You just set the throttle, hold the down button down. Hold on. Let's get around this turn here. Set the throttle, hold the button down. Let off the throttle and then you will be in cruise control and you'll see it engage or come up here on the screen where it shows cruise. And now you don't need throttle or pedal. I'm cruising at a steady 13 miles an hour. Let's hit the throttle again. Oh yeah, hitting the throttle or hitting a brake disables it. You can pedal without it disabling the thr uh, cruise control and it will remain at whatever speed you had set, which is really nice. So there's 13.6 on the display. Let me set cruise again here. And it is set at the max speed. All right, so like I said, I'm right now on cruise control set at the max speed. I'm gonna show you what it's like pedaling at max speed. And that's what it's gonna look like with the rotations on the pedals, having pressure on the pedals at max speed there. So, I mean, I guess it's doable. This is 13 miles an hour. I guess it's doable. It just feels slightly fast. I'd say 10 is a little more comfortable. Hey, one thing about it going slower is you're gonna see a lot more things. You know, sometimes if you go too fast in life, things just pass you by a lot and you miss things. So 
I guess that's one thing. You'll ride slower, you'll see more things, you won't miss as many things especially when you're out here riding in nature and just enjoying it like I am today. Not everything needs to be fast paced all the time. This is actually my regular route that I take when I review bikes. So we're gonna see how it does. We're gonna see if this controller overheats by the time I hit the last long hill because it does have a 20 amp controller and it is supposed to have built in uh, thermal protection to where if it overheats, it limits it. Um, from what I was reading on their website, and I've tested some other bikes like the walkie that actually limited me on power on certain hills when I was really putting it through a lot of really hard testing. So we'll see if this maintains 19 amps coming up that long steep hill before we get back to my house. All right, here we go. We're going to go up the steepest hill in town here and see how it does. This isn't the steep part yet. It's up here a little ways. And yes, I know my seat is a little low have to keep it low so you guys can see the the display so here we go 19 amps of current let's see how this single speed strike does up this here's the steep part and this is one handed up it pretty good maintaining 19 amps of current so not bad. Legs are burning just slightly, but not bad at all. I don't feel like it would have did it just throttle up that hill, but pretty good. All right, here we go. The last long hill before I get back to my house. And we're going to see, like I said before, if this cuts the current down after the controller starts getting hot. And it is about 80, 80 degrees or so out here today, maintaining 19 amps so far. And my legs are burning a little bit because my seat height is too low to get proper leg extension. But one thing that's nice about this trike that is unique to any other trike I've seen to date is that it has rear wheel drive. Almost every other trike has front wheel drive. And when you get on a steep incline, if it's too steep, your front wheel will spin out because all your weight's in the back. So that's one thing that's really nice about this rear wheel drive design. And it's pretty cool because both wheels do spin, but if one wheel comes off the ground, the one that's on the ground does not spin and it basically stops you. That's really nice and safe. I'm telling you, I think this trike was built all around safety to keep you from getting hurt on it. And I'll show you an example of that once I get up on level ground uh, in the gravel of how the wheels work in the back. So make sure you stick around and see that. I'm almost to the crest of the hill here now. Still maintaining 19 amps of current. Let's just do some throttle. Whew. Getting some good exercise today. But there we go, all the way up the last hill. No issues at all. Max speed again, just cruising, 13 miles an hour. All right, now we're in the gravel. You can see, as soon as the wheel comes off the ground, only the one that comes off the ground keeps spinning. But if I were to take it up on the other wheel, see that one's spinning now. So as soon as that wheel comes off the ground, the one that comes off the ground keeps spinning, and the one that stays on the ground doesn't. That's gonna prevent it from taking off while you're on only two wheels, like this. And I used to ride my trike around as a kid all the time like this. <laughs> don't do that at home, guys. Please don't get hurt. Ride safe. But that's what will happen if you take a turn too fast and you're not prepared and you don't lean into it. So keep that in mind. I'll try to show you getting down here around this turn. If you come around a turn and you lean out the wrong way, you can get up on three wheels. But like I said, that throttle's not gonna work. It's only gonna spin the wheel that's off the ground. So pretty good safety feature. But what's really nice about this trike is even though it is rear wheel drive, you could turn on a dime on this trike. Check this out. That's awesome. 
I was kind of wondering about that being that it's rear wheel drive because most trikes are front wheel drive. And I figured with that front wheel spinning, you'd be able to spin around easily. Well, even though this is rear wheel drive, you can see here, I could do a 360. Oops, ran off the sidewalk. <laughs> kind of hard one handed. Let's extend this out a little bit, get you guys a better view. Let's try to do a 360 on this sidewalk. And the front wheel went off a little bit. <laughs> Can't get back up on it. There we go. <laughs> so you might have a little bit of limitations on a sidewalk like that, spinning around, but you can see this thing does spin on a dime pretty good. All right, let me try this two-handed. Now I'm in pedal assist one. There we go. A little easier two-handed to stay on the sidewalk. <laughs> now after that ride, my GPS shows 7.77 miles and the bike shows eight miles. So it's pretty accurate there and I still have 50.8 volts left. So I only used about four volts on that almost eight mile trip. And that was going up all those hills and mostly using throttle. All right, everyone, so there you have it. There is how the electric XP trike performed. I thought it did really well other than the 13 to 14 mile an hour max speed. Now I think this trike is gonna be more for people that maybe have balance issues, that just wanna cruise around slowly and just enjoy scenery, enjoy life, enjoy riding around. It's not gonna be for those of you that wanna be a speed demon. I would stick to some of the other electric bikes for that. But overall guys, for the $1,500 price point with the 14 amp hour battery, hydraulic brakes, this thing folding, the power that it has, and my, opinion it's just seems like a really great deal compared to what else is out there in the market right now so let me know down below what you thought in the comments of how this bike performed and what you think of it or trike i should say i'm so used to saying bike but uh make sure you guys subscribe make sure you stick around check out some of my other videos and i will see you all around on the next one thanks for watching everyone and happy riding Whew.